What is up, YouTube tool tubers? How are y'all today? I quit my job today. As some of y'all know, or some of y'all don't know, if you're new to the channel, I was an industrial electrician at a plastics plant. If you've seen some of the other videos, you know that I've never actually been able to take my tools I used at work out of the plant. Well, since I don't work there anymore, this is my tool bag. So I'm going to take you through them. I'm going to take you through everything that I even just kept on my bike because I couldn't. We had a bike to ride around. We couldn't fit all our tools in here. And uh, we're going to start that right now. Alright guys, we're going to start this off. Like I said, I was an industrial electrician. As an industrial electrician, our tools vary greatly from those that do residential or commercial work. At my plant, you were provided a hard hat, but I didn't like it. It was a baseball style kind. So I got my own. Uh, from my years in the oil field, I got used to wearing, I think they call this the Vader style. Safety glasses were always there. But it's probably your most important tools. It's going to be a pen. A sharpie and a notebook you're gonna want to be able to write stuff down you're gonna, gonna want to be able to take lots of notes 11 in one this happens to be a Klein uh, multi-bit screwdriver basically was always handy to have uh, probably use this tool more than any other a voltage detector this one is a south wire I think this thing was like 10 bucks and it actually works pretty good I think they're an essential thing to hold on to but you can't trust them 100%, especially when the batteries start going down, they get a little wonky. And I almost forgot before we move on was uh, my knife. Other than the screwdriver, this knife was probably used more than anything. I like the one with the uh, curved blade, great knife. I have a review on this knife. Actually, this was the first review I ever did. All right, guys, these were bigger tools that I had on my bike. I didn't necessarily didn't keep them in my bag that I would take mobile with me, but I use these all the time. And that is two big old pairs of channel locks. Pipe wrench wasn't a, uh, isn't a must have, but it sure did come in handy. Uh, around a two to three pound hammer, I would say is essential. I like the real short handle. Need a small pry bar. I used to carry a 24 with me. I downgraded to this little 17. A full set of ratcheting wrenches. I didn't feel like pulling all mine out. The ones I had at work, I had to leave at work. They were the companies, but they were the same exact set. Craftsman ratcheting wrench set. I'd go from 6 mil to 19 mil, and probably a quarter inch to three quarter inch. In my bike, set of nut drivers. Went from a quarter to a half, six to ten anything bigger than that you're going to be pulling out your uh, ratchet and your sockets why isn't this in my tool bag you'll see why in a minute because the tool bag is coming next all right guys as you can see we're going to move pretty fast through these because there's a lot of tools and i don't want this to be a three hour video first off this bag is nothing special this is a ten dollar canvas bag from harbor freight i liked it because it had a ton of pockets I didn't carry this with me all the time. It usually sat in a bike. So I didn't need as tough of a bag as somebody that's got to lug it around with them all the time. Uh, tape ring. I actually ended up making my own because I can't find how to buy these individually anymore. Some chain I found. And this is actually welding rod. So channel lock linesman's, the 10 inch regular channel lock pliers you're going to use these a ton cable cutters i got a pair of clients i kept at the house i was gonna you know trade them trade these out when i upgraded to the clients but i really started using these fat max ones and i loved them south wire compact strippers they go from a 10 to 20. uh mainly just use these when we're working on lighting that was about this is the doyle angled dykes little crescent a little pair of needle nose and this is from harbor freight even though the stuff's worn off but it extends 14 inches or so and then you make you something like this so many times i wasn't exactly sure what i was getting into but i throw this in my back pocket as standard and metric and all your nut driver sizes and you see i even kept 
another little extension if I needed to get even further in there. There, I could probably reach almost 20 inches, I'd say that is. I love that tool. Love, love, love that tool. Got the Husky quad drives. These were very, very handy. I found them handy, at least. A lot of people say these wrenches are useless. Again, you don't know exactly what you're getting into. Throw these two wrenches in your back pocket. Uh, that's it on this side. Paintbrush. Uh, some of the chemicals we work around, they'll get in your pecker heads and stuff when you're going to clean them up. It takes all the powder out. A smaller pair of vice grips are always good. Maybe you got a bolt that's got a bad head on it. It's an angled little bitty needle nose. You're fishing wire through, it comes that last fitting, it gets caught on there and you can't get it through. That's beautiful. Two beater screwdrivers. And I, I have some insulated screwdrivers, but you're really rarely gonna work on anything hot. Regular Milwaukee square, flat, and I don't even think I have a Phillips in here because we didn't come across it too much and I used my Klein when I needed it. A little bitty tweaker screwdriver is what we call these when you're doing terminal blocks i don't have my sockets with me because again they were work provided sockets but i didn't like the ratchet they had i love this swivel head ratchet some people like them some people don't it's the harbor freight one definitely allowed me to get into some spots that other people couldn't the bigger crescent and inside i got a little husky precision screwdriver set or 16 foot tape measure is all you're gonna need you'll need this when you're running conduit this is handy and you'll get this for free from Harbor Freight anyways but the magnetic bowls when you're taking off pegger heads and stuff like that your motors metal anyway stick it on there it'll stay and it'll hold your bolts you got other millwrights and stuff working around you they can't knock over your stuff or channel locks this is just a little bit bigger pair long reach angled needle nose again come in handy more than you realize but these little cabinet tip screwdrivers the long skinny shaft and 3 16 head no matter what version this was my backup a co-worker actually gave me he didn't like it anymore these you'll use a ton a ton when you're working with breakers stubbies always handy i don't think i ever actually use these at work though. but if I didn't have them, I wouldn't have needed them. It's kind of level with the good magnets. This is an Empire. Uh, Klein will sell you the same level for $15 more. You want one with a little screw. Because when you're bending conduit. That's it, guys. That is it. Those are the tools I used as an industrial electrician. Uh, of course, there are some specialty tools. Some crimpers. Uh, big ratcheting cable cutters big battery powered crimpers for your big cable there's all that kind of stuff but most of the time from what i've seen it's company provided so i hope you enjoyed it this is my tool bag i enjoyed my time as an industrial electrician i think it's a great field to get in it's it's challenging every day of course i was on the maintenance side so i never knew what was going to break that morning uh, i liked it I am going to be coming out with a few more videos like the guys you'll meet as an industrial electrician or working at an industrial plant. Uh, maybe what I used to do day to day, you know, as an industrial electrician. So those videos are ideas in my head right now. Hopefully they'll be com coming out soon. But let's get this video over with. I know you're ready to get done with it. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace!